Hello my friends, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can create automatically subtitles in DaVinci Resolve, not only this, but how to animate them too. So without further ado, let us indulge my friends. Hello my friends, welcome, welcome. First things first, I need to let you know that this, the animated subtitles and creating subtitles from audio, is actually a DaVinci Resolve Studio feature only. So unfortunately you can only do this with the paid version of DaVinci Resolve. If this changes, however, I will update the description down below. Okay, so first things first, you need to have a clip within your timeline. If you already have clips or videos within your timeline, that's fine. If you have it in your media pool, please drag it into your timeline like so. This is the clip we are gonna use. Hello, my friends. So you want to flip an image or video within DaVinci Resolve? Okay, so this is what we're gonna use to create subtitles automatically. How do we do this? All you need to do is navigate to the top where it says timeline, go to AI tools, and then click create subtitles from audio. With this feature, this dialogue window would pop up and you're presented with a few options. The first option you'll be presented with is language. Now by default, you'll be limited with the amount of language you can use for this effect. And that's until you press enable extended language support beta. Effectively, what this will do is if you enable this, a new pop-up window will appear and this window would ask you if you'd like to download some more resources. I would recommend you do this because once you do, you'll be presented with all of these additional languages that you could use rather than the limited languages that you'd be able to use without it. So please, please, please press extended language support and download the extra resources. You will not need to restart DaVinci Resolve. Next, after you've picked your language, I'm going to go with English. You have caption preset. You'll be presented with three presets here. Subtitle, default, teletext, and Netflix. By default, I think it would be 42. I would say keep this to 42 if you're doing landscape or YouTube content. If you're doing social media content, I would reduce it down to 20. Or if you want a single word to pop up, put this down to one. But for now, because we're doing YouTube content, I'm going to keep it down to 42, the subtitle default. Next, the amount of lines, I'm going to keep it down to single and the gap between subtitles, I'm making it zero frames. So once you're happy with these settings, press create and then wait for DaVinci Resolve to work its magic. And just like that, <laughs> marvelous, sensational. It actually created it relatively quickly. So if I press space, but if I press play right now. Hello, my friends. So you want to flip an image or video within DaVinci Resolve? I'm going to show you I can do that really quickly right now. So without further ado, let us indulge, my friends. Perfect. And it's actually transcribed and added subtitles extremely accurately, which is great. Okay. So say, for example, you wanted to adjust how this looks. If you click onto the newly created subtitle track, you can see if you enable inspector at the top right corner here, make sure it's open. You can actually see you have all of the subtitles that's been created. And if you wanted to, for example, correct a word, you can do so here. If you would like to do changes across every subtitle, such as color, font, etc., navigate from caption to track. And as you can see, you can adjust the fonts and it updates in real time, which is great. You can change the color, the size, the kerning, everything you can think of, you can change here. Add drop shadow, which is great. But this is not only what we want to do, we want to animate this text. So how do we do that? Well, I can show you if we navigate to effects at the top left corner here, and then we press titles and we scroll all the way down, you'll be able to see that we have something called animated. These are the presets for the animated subtitles in DaVinci Resolve. So if we click on statement, for example, and we drag this not onto a single clip, but onto the subtitle track itself, immediately it's going to change. And you can see if I press play. Hello, my friends. So you want to flip an image or video within DaVinci Resolve? I'm going to show you I can do that really quickly. I do feel like it's a bit fast. So what you could do is click onto the subtitle track again, make sure inspector is open, navigate to track. And these are basically the changes of the animated effects that you've added. The animation speed is here. You know, intuitively you would think if you decrease this, it would slow it down, but it actually speeds it up. I'll show you. Hello, my friend. See, that's not what we want. It looks like a flash. Oh, funny freeze frame. What you'd actually want to do to decrease the speed is increase this. So now it should graze over the words a lot slower and more naturally. Hello, my friends. So you want to flip an image or video within DaVinci Resolve? I'm going to show you I can do that really quickly. What's great about this, because it is a fusion template, you can actually adjust almost all parameters you can see here. So again, you can change the font to whatever you want. You can change the animation speed. You could also change the color and the size, the tracking, 
as well as the highlighted color of the word. And not only this, but you can do this for some of the other options. If I click on word highlights and I drag this over the subtitle track, it's going to overwrite what's currently there. And we have this effect. Hello, my friends. So you want to flip an image or video within DaVinci Resolve? I'm going to show you I can do that really quickly right now. Again, if we go to inspector, you go from caption to track, you can adjust similar settings. So the font, the size, the color of the highlighted words, as well as the color of the text. And just like that, if I press play, so without further ado, let us indulge, my friends. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve, a welcome. Just like that, we not only have subtitles created automatically for us, but we have animated effects, which you can customize the look of as you want. You can actually turn this into a template by going to the Fusion tab by enabling this button here. But I'm going to save that for a different video. This is great, but what if I no longer want effects for my subtitles? Well, no worries. If you scroll down a little bit more in the effects tab, you can see we have these subtitle presets. So we have black and a white background. If I drag this over my subtitle track, we have this. And if I press play, it won't be animated, but it will have the design of these presets in the effects tab. Image or video within DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to show you I can do that really quickly right now. So, so you have all of these different options that you can use. And you can also customize these options. So if, for example, we click on the subtitle track once more, we go down to track from caption, go to track. You can see we can change the color of the text. Now with these titles and these effects, we actually have a bit more to customize. If you go down to shading, you can change the color of said things such as the border opacity. You can change the roundness of the border. You can change the color. And you may also notice within these shading elements, you have different numbers. These are different parameters which can be used to adjust or customize this further. So if we go to two, you'll see it says outline. If we enable outline, because it's currently not enabled, you can see an outline around the image. And again, you can adjust the thickness, all of these different settings and parameters you can adjust should you wish to do so. If you don't want this, you can disable it. With three, we have black shadow, we can enable it, adjust how it looks. Four, we have the border and the border color. There is one more thing I'd like to show you and make you aware of. You can actually have more than one subtitle track. However, only one subtitle track can be active at a time. So if you'd like to add a different style, for example, or maybe have one or two words show up instead of a whole sentence, you can simply add a new subtitle track. So I'll show you how you can do that now. So what we're going to do is navigate to our subtitle track above our video tab right here. We're going to right click and add, add subtitle track. This is going to automatically add another subtitle track. And then we're going to run the same operation as before. So we're going to navigate to the top, go to timeline, AI tools, create subtitles from audio. Here we're going to change some of the settings. I'm going to change it from 42 to maybe it's going to try its best to put a minimum of one word or characters per line. It's not going to get it perfect, but it's going to do its absolute best. So we're going to press create. And as you can see, it's created it here, but it's not active to activate it. Click on this icon and enable subtitle track and press play. Within DaVinci Resolve, I'm going to show you I can do that really quickly right now. So without further ado, let us indulge, my friends. So I recommend putting, for example, the singular words. If we go to timeline, AI tool, ooh, timeline, AI tools, create subtitles from audio. If we change this to a maximum of one, I would specifically use this potentially for social media content, vertical content, because it fits within the window better and it's a lot more engaging. That's when I would use, say, for example, one character per line instead of the default, which I believe is 42. Lastly, and this is very important, when you go to export your video in the Deliver tab, after you've selected your format, make sure you scroll all the way down and go to Subtitle Settings. Here, enable Export Subtitle and change the format to Burn Into Video. If you don't do this, then there'll be no subtitles after you export the video. And just like that, that is how you can automatically create subtitles of Individual Resolve 20, brand new version. If you like the video, please share, subscribe, comment, like. If you want to see anything else, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.